much for taking the time today. Uh, in recent months, we've seen a lot of the top talent on NXT, such as Grayson and Carmelo, showcase their versatility near the pre-taped or live segments. Uh, how important is it, in your eyes, for these performers to have that kind of creativity and versatility in the way that they tell stories, not only inside but outside the ring as well? Well, look, again, that, that, that's what we do here. Uh, and obviously when they go to the main roster, um, that's what they're also going to need to do. I mean, for the most part, um, obviously from an action standpoint and a wrestling standpoint, they're on live TV every week now. Um, that's how they're learning. Um, but there's still opportunities to, as you say, you know, for us, we have opportunities here and there to pre-tape certain backstages and things of that nature. Um, up at and SmackDown, you might get that, but there's also a chance you might not. And more than, and more than likely, you won't, and you'll have to do it live. So, yeah, to your point, we've just been trying to, again, ease some of those in with the people that we uh, feel are ready for that. And, 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 again, this is all about the developmental process. We just slowly, you know... Uh, ease them into, um, it's sort of like the, you know, the boiling of the water, so to speak. You just sort of sit them in there and you get it, get it going and those, those, those towns that you feel like can take it, we turn up the heat a little bit more. They handle that, we turn it up a little bit more. Um, and so uh, that's just one of the, again, one of the, uh, you know, things that we've been trying to do to get them used to being able, ready to go. But again, it's proven successful. Um, uh, they've all delivered on it, and like I said, we'll continue with this, that process as we're as we're moving forward. Thanks so much, Sean. All right, folks, we'll do two more, and then we'll wrap it up for the day. And our next question will come from Dominic Angelo with AdFreeShows.com. Hey, Sean, good to speak with you today. Excited for uh, NXT deadline coming up. Uh, I somebody that obviously stood out since uh, NXT's really taken. Eight these past couple of years is uh, Braun Breaker, but another uh, guy that's kind of, and you mentioned him earlier before, is uh, Julius Creed. I, like, just seeing him, he's got a, got that natural baby face charisma, uh, almost like to a Bruno Sammartino. I was hoping to get your uh, perspective on his ability and per- persona as he grows throughout this process, and what you've kind of seen, not just from an in-ring standpoint, but more so from a personality standpoint from him. Yeah, well, look, clearly he's uh, an unbelievable athlete. There isn't, if you tell him, uh, you need to jump this high, push this much, he's going to get it done. He's, he's an unbelievably driven young man, um, uh, an incredibly hard worker, and, and, and as you guys see, very talented. Um, look, we, and again, whether uh, right, wrong, or indifferent, um, certainly what we try to do here is get people out of their comfort zone. Um, and try to get, you know, we try to get them range when it comes to uh, the, the point of which I believe you're asking about is from a, you know, from a character standpoint and promos and, 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 and the, you know, the other things outside of the ring um, where we want them to, you know, again, he may end up going the rest of his career and never have to smile and have nothing to do but be angry. But down here, we want to make sure that we, uh, you know, have them pliable and at least the ability to do those things. So I feel like that's where we're at with, with Julius and his brother is, is now just starting to show their, their, to get them some range and help them get comfortable with that. Um, and, and I'll say this, look, they're two guys that when you give them a goal, they try to make sure they do everything they can to, to achieve that goal. Um, I think there's, I think there's, you know, a great deal of potential there in both of them. Um, you know, Julius, obviously, uh, you know, I think you could argue that he's, you know, a very natural in, in, in some aspects of this. Um, and, and we're very excited about getting him uh, more well-rounded as we go forward because we think, again, we think both of them, along with the bronze and, and, and a few others, are, are you know, really big catches that we had, uh, you know, in that original <laughs> in that original draft in, in the first place. So, uh, the future for those guys looks great. We're just uh, we're just continuing to do what we do, is and that's helped them develop and, and help them again. As you know, when you talk about it, continue to cook and round them out as best we can. Absolutely cool. Thanks very much, Sean. You bet. Thank you. 
And our final question today comes from Steve Fall with the Tech Count. Hey, Sean. Thanks for answering our questions today. I really appreciate it. Uh, with uh, no WWE CLC pay-per-view in December, is deadline going to become maybe the new December pay-per-view with Iron Survivor taking place of all those CLC matches? Well, again, uh, you know, I, I will say this. Um, it wouldn't bother me one bit. I'd absolutely, and, you know, we'd love to have that. We'd love December to be ours and finish out the year with, with NXT. Um, but you guys don't, you, get, you know that I'm the guy that makes those decisions. Um, and look, I, I know they're, uh, obviously, as we continue to grow and change and evolve as a company, um, you know, there's going to be st stuff I'd love to be able to give you, you know, a wonderful answer for, but I don't have. All I know is that this year there there opened up an opportunity for us to have just that, and we wanted to do something a little different, um, and that's what we're doing. NXT deadline certainly for us. Um, whether it becomes a regular thing or it's you know or it's uh, I don't know. This is its <laughs> one and only you know uh, hoorah. We uh, we're going to simply go out there and do the best we can to to put on a you know a fantastic show. Um, you know, Saturday's a big night for us. You know, we're coming to the end of the year. Yeah, you know, people are going to be going on vacation. For us, all these you know, for NXT, all these you know premium live events are really big deals. Um, and and I don't know. Again, and like we talked about, you know, getting out of the performance center, huge deal for us. And I know it sounds kind of uh, I, you know what I mean? Because it's supposed to be the regular. Um, but this is a whole different group. This is an entire different generation. You know, the, the infrastructure in NXT is totally different. So all these things are brand new again for us. And it's exciting to do. Um, and again, this is a place where, I, and I know I was talking about this with you guys, and I'm, I don't know, I, I, I don't know, and I hope you don't get bored of me and stuff like that, but we just, we don't have the cynicism here. We're, not, we're just not cynical about the wrestling business here. Because we, we don't, you know, because we don't have to be. And I guess that's the joy of being here. You know what I mean? That's the joy of kind of being isolated down here in Florida, uh, away from everything else. Uh, that we get to keep it fun and exciting and, you know, and, and innocent, I guess, you know, at least to some degree. So we know that we have a premium live event that we didn't have before, <laughs> you know, um, and we're going to do everything we can to make the best of it, close off the year for the WWE with hopefully, you know, the fans of the WWE remembering NXT and NXT deadline. So, um, and again, I guess if that's the last one. I appreciate you guys helping us out with that, you know, I guess to – you know, when everything takes full circle here, you know, thank you guys for doing this stuff with us. Um, and uh, like I said, it helping us out to get the word out on that. Uh, you know, we'll, we're, you know, and hopefully it's a good show. And if it isn't, man, be gentle, okay? Take it easy on <laughs> I'm still, <laughs> I'm still, I'm still sensitive to it, all right? So be, be gentle, but be fair. I don't mind, I'm, I'm kidding. I don't mind, I don't mind you being fair. Um, anyway, just hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you all. As always, for doing this with us, and uh, hope it wasn't too too painful for you. And speaking of that, we will be back uh, Saturday night after NXT deadline for our post show conference, where you hopefully will be gentle. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, we'll talk to everybody on Saturday night. Thanks everybody for joining us. Thank you all.